Welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to showcase how you can use ChatGPT's new inpainting feature, which will allow you to edit images that are created by Dolly3 right inside of ChatGPT. So let's get started. So the first thing is you're going to go into ChatGPT and just enter the prompt of the image you're trying to generate. So in this case, I said a cat on the beach, high quality HD looking at viewer. I'm going to enter and then ChatGPT is going to create that image. Perfect. So now we have our image of a cat. And that's a pretty cute cat if I must say it myself. Now, click on the image and you'll see a new area for us to click on, which is called select. So the select is going to be for us to edit the image. So what we can do on the top left hand side is we can actually turn this down a bit as far as the selection circle that you see on your screen here. And we can now select areas of the image that we want ChatGPT to change. So in this case, let's say that we wanted to change the eyes and add glasses to the eyes. So we could say sun glasses on cat. And ChatGPT is going to add those glasses onto the cat um, based on the area that we selected prior. Perfect. So now if we click on the image here, you'll see that our cat has sunglasses. And it looks pretty stylish, I must say myself. We can take this a bit further by selecting that icon again and then changing this to a lower setting. And maybe we want it to just be a little lower because what we can do is we can add a hat on our cat. So let's just select the area that we want our hat to be placed. And then what we can do is just say hat on cat. And it's going to do the same thing again. It's going to modify that newly edited image and put a hat on our cat. Okay, perfect. It added a really stylish hat onto our cat. So now we are looking pretty good. We can do one other thing by selecting this icon again. And let's say we wanted to add a shirt to our cat. So we can select the area that we want our shirt to be. And maybe we want it to be like a, a dress shirt. So let's say dress shirt on cat, right? And sometimes I will say that this particular feature from ChatGPT doesn't work, meaning that if you uh, select an area of the image and you prompt it out, it will just give you nothing. <laughs> Literally, it won't change the image and that can be frustrating, but you can just reprompt it and try it again. Compared to tools like Midjourney and Leonardo, this inpainting feature or this selection feature is a bit far behind compared to those, um, but I do think it is a great direction that ChatGPT is going as far as editing images inside of ChatGPT. So let's see what the uh, new shirt on our cat looks like. And it looks pretty good, I must say. this It did a pretty good job of adding a little dress shirt to our cat. <laughs> and our cat looks pretty distinguished gentleman now. We can do one other thing, and this is one thing that I um, tried a bunch of times, and it just doesn't work, but we can try it again. and. Maybe it will work, maybe it won't, but if it doesn't work, you'll see what I mean when it doesn't actually edit the image. So what we can do is we can say, let's say we wanted some text here in the sky, right? We can just select the area. And then we could say text that says cats rule, right? In the sky. And typically, you know, if you were to do this inside of another inpainting feature, it would add some type of text, but I've tested this multiple times. And it doesn't add anything. I don't know if it's because it's the text or if it can't just, you know, create the text in the sky. Uh, I'm not too sure, but it just doesn't work. But let's see if it works here. And to my surprise, it actually works. So you guys are lucky. You, I guess you guys get a nice little treat here because it did work this time where it says cats rule in the sky. And now we have a really awesome image that we can use. I will say that when you're using this feature or any inpainting feature, make sure that you take it step by step. So don't try to add like a thousand things onto the image. Like for example, um, you saw me only do the glasses first and then I went to the hat next and then I went to the shirt next and then I did cats rule in the sky next, right? Rather than if I take my original image and try to do all that stuff in one mega prompt, it will not come out um, the way that you want it. So take it step by step. Um, and then you'll be able to create really awesome images like this. I was really surprised that this actually worked because I'm telling you guys, I tried this multiple, multiple, multiple times for this video and it just didn't come out with anything. So I'm surprised that it worked and I'm excited that it worked. But just know that sometimes it doesn't work and you have to kind of try and try again to get it working on the first try. But that is how you're able to use ChatGPT's new and painting feature so that you can edit images directly inside of ChatGPT. I think it's a really awesome feature and a great direction that ChatGPT is going as far as editing images in Dolly 3. Now, does it have all the features of Midjourney? No, but I do think that over time it will get better and better. So that's it for this one. 
Make sure that you subscribe to our channel if you want to see more tutorials like this one. And be sure to hit that alert bell so you know we drop a new video because we're going to be dropping tons of content just like this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.